Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into 20 amazing ethical hacking project ideas that you can start working on right now. These projects are perfect for sharpening your skills, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced learner. We're going to be looking at some really cool stuff, from building your own security tools to understanding how real-world attacks work. Let's jump in and explore these awesome ethical hacking projects. We're diving into the world of keyloggers. Keyloggers often get a bad rap, and for good reason. Understanding how they work is crucial for cybersecurity. You'll use Python to create a simple keylogger. The goal is to learn keystroke capture and protect your devices. Ethical hacking is about using your knowledge for good. Next up, we're tackling a project that's super relevant in today's digital world, building a password strength checker. This project will teach you how to write a program that analyzes passwords and determines their strength based on factors like length, character variety, and common patterns. You'll be surprised how much you learn about what makes a truly secure password. Let's move on to something a little different, building a Wi-Fi network scanner. Using simple programming concepts, you'll create a tool that scans for nearby Wi-Fi networks and displays key information like signal strength, security protocols being used, and even potentially the network name. It's a great way to learn about the different Wi-Fi security measures out there and how to better protect your own network. Chapter 4. Basic Web Scraper For this next project, we're going to build a basic web scraper. In this project, you'll learn how to extract specific data from websites using programming languages like Python. You'll be working with libraries like Beautiful Soup, which make web scraping a lot more approachable. This project is a great way to understand how websites are structured and how to extract information from them ethically. Chapter 5. Port Scanner Next up, we're diving into the world of networking with a project on building a port scanner. In this project, you'll use Python to create a simple port scanner that identifies open ports on a target system. Understanding how port scanning works is essential for both attackers and defenders, so this project is a must-do. Make sure you only scan systems that you have permission to test. Chapter 6. Create a Honeypot Now, let's talk about honeypots. Honeypots are like decoys in the cybersecurity world. In this project, you'll learn how to set up your own honeypot using tools like Kippo or Honeyed. It's a more advanced project, but it's incredibly fascinating to see how attackers operate and what they're after. Make sure you do your research and follow best practices to avoid any unintended consequences. Chapter 7. Packet Sniffer For this project, we're going deep into network traffic analysis by building a packet sniffer. You'll be using tools like TCP Dump or Wireshark to capture and analyze network traffic in real time. This project will teach you how to identify different types of network protocols, spot anomalies, and potentially even uncover malicious activity. It's a powerful skill to have, and it's essential for anyone interested in network security. Chapter 8. Simulate a DDoS attack in a lab. Let's talk about DDoS attacks, or distributed denial of service attacks. These attacks can bring down websites by flooding them with traffic. You'll learn to simulate one in a safe environment. We'll set up a lab and use tools to generate artificial traffic, understand how DDoS attacks work and how to defend against them. Chapter 9. Secure Chat Application Privacy is more important than ever. We're building a secure chat application. Learn about AES and RSA encryption and implement them using Python or JavaScript. Understand cryptography principles and protect data. You'll have your own secure chat app for friends and family. Chapter 10. Exploit Detection Tool For this next project, we're diving into the world of vulnerability research by building an exploit detection tool. You'll learn how to write code that scans for common vulnerabilities like buffer overflows, SQL injection flaws, and cross-site scripting. We'll be using scripting languages like Python and exploring tools like Burp Suite. This project is a great way to understand how software vulnerabilities are discovered and how to write code that's more secure. Chapter 11. Penetration Testing Framework 
let's kick things up a notch and talk about building your own mini penetration testing framework. You'll learn how to automate tasks like port scanning, vulnerability scanning, and even exploit development using Python or other scripting languages. Think of it like building your own customized toolkit for ethical hacking. This is a more advanced project, but it's incredibly rewarding and will give you a deeper understanding of the entire penetration testing process. Chapter 12, Social Engineering Simulator. Now let's switch gears and focus on the human element of cybersecurity with a social engineering simulator. You'll create a simulation that teaches users about common social engineering tactics like phishing emails, fake websites, and baiting attacks. This could be a really fun and interactive project. The goal is to raise awareness about social engineering and help people become more vigilant against these types of attacks. Next up, we're stepping into the future of cybersecurity with a project on building an AI-powered malware detector. You'll learn how to train a machine learning model to recognize malicious files based on their characteristics, like code patterns and behavior. We'll be using Python libraries like TensorFlow or PyTorch. This is a cutting-edge project that will give you a taste of how AI is being used to combat increasingly sophisticated malware. Let's get back to basics with a project on building your own custom firewall. You'll learn how to write rules for your firewall using Python or other scripting languages, allowing you to block specific IP addresses, ports, or even types of traffic. It's like setting up your own personal security guard for your network. This project is a great way to understand how firewalls work at a deeper level and how to customize them for your specific needs. Now let's explore the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency with a project on blockchain security analysis. In this project, we'll be setting up a private blockchain network and simulating different types of attacks, like a 51% attack, to see how it holds up. This is a fascinating project for anyone interested in blockchain technology and the challenges of securing decentralized systems. Chapter 16, Burp Suite Extensions. For this next project, we're diving deep into the world of web application security with Burp Suite extensions. You'll learn how to extend Burp Suite's functionality by creating your own custom extensions using Python or Java. This could be anything from automating tasks to creating new security checks. This is a project for those who are serious about web app security and want to take their skills to the next level. Chapter 17. Reverse Engineering Malware now let's get our hands dirty with a project on reverse engineering malware. You'll be using tools like IDA Pro, Ghidra, or even online sandboxes to analyze malware samples in a safe environment. We'll be looking at assembly code, identifying malicious functions, and trying to figure out what the malware does. This is an advanced project, but it's incredibly valuable for anyone interested in malware analysis and cybersecurity research. Chapter 18, Forensic Investigation Toolkit. For this project, we're stepping into the shoes of a digital forensic investigator and building our own toolkit. You'll learn how to use tools like Autopsy, FTK, and SleuthKit to analyze disk images, recover deleted files, and piece together digital evidence. This is a challenging but incredibly rewarding project. You'll gain valuable skills in data recovery, evidence preservation, and the legal aspects of digital forensics. Chapter 19, Capture the Flag, CTF Challenges. Let's talk about Capture the Flag, or CTF competitions. In this project, you'll learn how to design your own CTF challenges, covering vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and cryptography. This is a great way to test your own skills and learn from others. Plus, there are tons of online CTF platforms where you can put your skills to the test and compete against others. Chapter 20. Secure IoT Device. Finally, let's wrap things up with a project on securing an IoT device. You'll learn how to identify and address common vulnerabilities in IoT devices like weak passwords, insecure communication protocols, and outdated firmware. We'll be using tools like Nmap, Wireshark, and firmware analysis tools. This is a crucial project for anyone interested in the security of smart homes, wearable technology, and the ever-expanding world of IoT.
That's it for today's video on 20 ethical hacking project ideas. These projects are a fantastic way to build your skills. Use these skills responsibly to make the digital world safer. Which project are you excited to try first? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. See you in the next video.